Ever caught an episode of that classic series set in a mobile army surgical hospital during the Korean War? Known for its blend of humor and poignant storytelling, MASH became an iconic TV staple. Did a particular scene or character resonate with you, maybe even influencing your perspective? We're curious about your treasured moments connected to this show. Share your stories with us in the comments below. Spanning over a decade on television, this series offered much more than entertainment. It tackled themes of war, humanity, and camaraderie, all while drawing in audiences with its wit and compelling characters. Did you know that the show's finale was one of the most watched television events in history at the time? Its impact remains unforgettable for many who tuned in. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience linked to this TV gem? We'd love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Share the moments that made MASH special for you. The series finale of the 1972 show, MASH, titled Goodbye, Farewell, and Amen, holds the record for the most watched television episode ever. Airing on February 28, 1983, it drew an astonishing 121.6 million viewers. This iconic episode capped off the show's successful run and remains a milestone in television history. It's a testament to the impact and popularity this series held over its viewers, leaving an enduring legacy in the world of television. The Bell 47 helicopters featured in the series were vital during the Korean War, especially the O-13s responsible for evacuating around 80% of American casualties. These helicopters saved over 18,000 lives during the conflict, a significant historical fact still taught at Fort Campbell's Air Assault School, home of the 101st Airborne Division. The helicopter's role in the show mirrored their crucial real-life contribution during wartime, showcasing a slice of authentic history to the audience. Another notable piece of MASH memorabilia is Radar's teddy bear, which found its way to the Smithsonian before being auctioned off on July 29, 2005, for dollar eleven eight hundred. This item from the show's set speaks to the enduring fascination and value that fans attach to artifacts connected to beloved television series. In summary, MASH made television history with its record-breaking finale, while also paying tribute to real-life elements of the Korean War through the portrayal of Bell 47 helicopters. The series continues to hold a special place in pop culture, evidenced by the auction of memorabilia like Radar's teddy bear. Japanese actor Mako and South Korean actor Soon tek -oh each portrayed multiple characters across the series. Mako took on four distinct roles, while Soon Teko embodied five different characters throughout the show's run. This diversity in character portrayal by these talented actors added depth and versatility to the narrative, showcasing their range and contributing to the rich tapestry of the series' ensemble cast. The ability to seamlessly transition between roles speaks volumes about their acting prowess, leaving an indelible mark on the show's legacy. Corporal Maxwell Q. Klinger underwent a significant transformation throughout the series. Originally conceived as a potentially gay character, the show's early implications shifted as the character evolved. Klinger's initial portrayal, hinting at a stereotype, was adapted into a storyline where he aimed to get discharged by dressing in women's clothing. However, as the series progressed, Klinger's persona underwent a complete turnaround. He abandoned his attempts to leave by unconventional means, eventually marrying a woman by the show's end. This shift in character trajectory reflects the evolution and complexities within the show's narrative, offering a glimpse into the dynamic nature of character development in the series. The setting of the 1972 TV series was three miles from Yuajongbu, now a vibrant town near Seoul with a U.S. Army presence. Yuai Jungus evolved to host restaurants catering to defense personnel, serving a unique stew called Yuai Jungbu Beauty JGG made from spam and hot dogs. This setting inspired the show's backdrop, adding a touch of reality to its portrayal. The show's location mirrored a real place, connecting viewers to an authentic aspect of the military world. This integration of real-life elements brought an extra layer of authenticity to the series, showcasing the blend between fiction and reality in the lives of those serving in the military, a distinctive feature that captivated audiences. Alan Alda made television history by achieving a unique Triple Crown at the Emmy Awards. He became the first person to win Emmys for acting, writing, and directing for the same series. 
His versatile talent and contributions to the show catapulted him into an elite category within the television industry. Alda's exceptional skill set allowed him to not only portray the beloved character of Hawkeye Pierce, but also to shape the narrative through his writing and direction. His groundbreaking achievement set a high bar for future actors and creators in the television landscape, marking a milestone in the history of TV awards. Set during the Korean War, this long-running TV series outlasted the actual conflict by a landslide 11 seasons versus the war's three and a half years. That's a stark contrast in duration. It's fascinating how this show captured the essence of a relatively short-lived war and extended its impact for so long. One interesting detail? Frank Burns' enduring nickname Ferret Face stemmed from a rare drinking session with Hawkeye and Trapper. BJ even echoed it in their first encounter, cementing it in the show's lore. Additionally, the voices behind the PAW system, Todd Sussman, Jimmy Lidon, and Sal Vescuso, added a distinctive auditory layer to the series. It's intriguing how these elements, seemingly small, became integral parts of a show that far outlived its historical backdrop, making it a timeless classic in TV history. When the show began, there was a tug of war over laugh tracks. The network leaned towards a laugh track, but the producers disagreed. They settled on a compromise, a sporadic chuckle track used sparingly. However, this track never made it into the surgery tent scenes, maintaining the serious tone. Syndication later ditched the chuckles altogether, emphasizing the show's raw authenticity. The insistence on keeping the surgical scenes solemn without artificial laughter reveals the dedication to portraying the harsh reality of war. It highlights the delicate balance between humor and the gravity of the situation in the series. The decision to forego constant laughter in the surgical tent underscores the show's commitment to authenticity, setting it apart from traditional sitcoms. The occasional laughter was a compromise, but the deliberate omission in certain critical scenes showcased the producer's commitment to realism and respect for the setting. This unique approach contributed to the show's timeless appeal and authenticity, ensuring its lasting impact on television history. As our journey together comes to a close, it's time to reminisce about a timeless classic that resonates across generations, the unforgettable series that captured hearts and minds alike. Its tales of camaraderie, humor, and humanity in the midst of chaos have left an indelible mark. Now, it's your turn to be part of the narrative. Your experiences, your reflections on this cherished show are like pieces of a mosaic that enrich the collective story. Share your favorite moments, those scenes that etch themselves into your memory, or the characters who felt like old friends. Whether it's Hawkeye's wit or the poignant moments that lingered long after the credits rolled, your connection to this masterpiece matters. It's a celebration of how a TV show became more than just entertainment, becoming a thread woven into the fabric of our lives. Thank you for your time and for allowing these shared memories to flourish. Your unique perspective adds depth to the tapestry of MASH's legacy. Keep those reflections coming and keep the spirit of this extraordinary series alive.